So in my opinion, one of the best things about staying at the Saratoga Springs Resort is how close you are to the Disney Springs area. As you can see, there's the welcome home sign. This is the Saratoga Springs Resort right across the water here. And I'm actually standing inside of Disney Springs right now. That's how close you are. Here's Disney Springs. You can walk over. I think there's a bridge or you go around right over there. Or you could take one of those water taxis, one of those little cute boats that we just saw going across our screen. Oh, and there's an Amphicar. It's really, really tiny, but the Amphicar, little cars where it looks like they can't go in the water, but they can, they just dive right in and they float like a boat. lobby we are greeted with some respectable Disney horses. Angus is the first one to greet us on the right. He is a Shire horse who is Meredith's faithful companion in the 2012 Disney Pixar movie Brave. The one straight ahead here, I have no idea who that is. Please please leave a comment down below if you know who that is. Next is Fru Fru from the 1970 classic The Aristocats. And we have Philippe, who is Belle and Maurice's Belgian farm horse from Beauty and the Beast, 1991. And then we have Young Pegasus from the 1997 movie Hercules. And lastly, we have Maximus, who was a palace horse for the Royal Guard of Corona and the former arch enemy of Flynn Rider from the 2010 film Tangled. Sources say that he is based off a breed called Andalusian. I'd like to give some information on the theming of this resort. So, Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort was inspired by a historic late 1800s New York retreat famous for horse racing. It is the seventh Disney Vacation Club Resort and was built on the former site of the Disney Institute. It opened May 17, 2004 and is now the largest DVC resort at 65 acres. There are a total of 18 buildings and 828 vacation home units. It is considered one of Disney's deluxe villa resorts. Right now I am showing you an area just adjacent to the lobby there. So after you check in, if you need to catch up on some computer work or just want to rest from your traveling, you can do that here. I was enjoying the model here of the Disney cruise ship Fantasy, and it's just like Disney to be planting the seeds of your next vacation while you're currently on a vacation. And sprinkled throughout the resort, they have late 1800s uh, artwork here for you to enjoy and immerse you into their theme. Adjoining the main area and lounge, there is the artist palette, which is where the cafeteria and the gift shop is. So let's just take a look at one more thing here. Saratoga Spring City. I like that one. But let's flash forward to when that artist palette is open. In the same area as the gift shop is the quick food counter service food area. Here are some of your options. Ooh, the braised meatballs look pretty good.
In addition to the quick service food, they also have like a mini grocery store area where if you don't want to venture down to the to the artist palette here, you can actually just make some food right there in your villa before you go out for the day. Or when you come home for the day for that matter. And I was checking out the prices here. It's actually not too bad. Um, it is marked up a little bit, of course, but for example, $3.69 for a half gallon of milk. Not too shabby. Now, all of the Disney resorts have these. These are the refillable resort cups. They are $19.99 each, but you can refill them throughout your entire stay for free. Moving along from the artist palette, we run into the Turf Club Bar and Grill, so let's go take a peek at it. <laughs> Judging from their menu here, this is the more upscale sit-down restaurant that they have to offer here at Saratoga Springs. Every Disney resort seems to have one that is excluding the Valley Resorts, but this looks pretty good. They have prime rib, some awesome specialty drinks. Here is the Turf Club. They are not open at the moment because they are only open for dinner. Here's the hours right over here. 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And just outside of the Turf Club there is a nice lounge area slash waiting room. Now let's go check out the outdoor dining area of the Turf Club. You can have a little view of the golf course at the Saratoga Springs Resort. Yes, they have their own golf course. And this is also where the water taxi boat can pick you up and take you to Disney Springs or one of the resorts. Okay, we went back into the artist palette and they have doors leading out to the pool area. This is called the High Rock Spring Pool. And there's some information right here on this board telling you about the activities that they hold each day of the week. This resort is undergoing some refurbishments from early January 2023 through late March 2023. High Rock Spring Pool on the Rocks Pool Bar at the High Rock Spring Pool and the Leisure Pool at Treehouse Villas will be closed for refurbishment. And for those of you who do not know, the Treehouse Villas are considered part of the Saratoga Springs Resort. Now I don't want you to be too sad because there are other open pools at this resort. I understand High Rock is pretty cool, but the Paddock Pool, which is open, also is themed. It also has a slide, it's a corkscrew slide, and it does have a pool bar as well for you to enjoy. And there are a couple of leisure pools. If you just want to go to a normal pool, you can go to those. So this resort has five sections of their villa buildings. This section is called Grandstand. So their theming of their pool is the Saratoga Springs racetrack. You can see there's the gates and the horses with the splash pad. And then beyond that, there's a seating area and a pool. I literally went into the bushes to record this music. I put the camera up to the speaker so you guys could hear this. This is part of the immersiveness and the theming that I love. This is the kind of music that you'll hear when you're in Saratoga Springs. It's the late 1800s, early 1920s style of music. Now I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of the golf course here at Saratoga Springs. Just a small fraction of it. I don't golf myself, but if you do, I'm sure this is a great golf course. It seems quite large. Oh, look at that! You can actually see characters in flight, which is a tethered air balloon ride that they have at Disney Springs. I just wanted to show you guys one of the villa buildings. This is in a section called The Springs. Look at the beautiful architecture that they did for this resort. It's awesome. Alright, we are coming to the end of the video now. I just wanted to take you guys through the main drag though before we go. 
This can give you an overall feel of the resort and also I just like trying to get you guys to feel like you're actually there and driving up to the to the main lobby yourself, checking in. But here comes the main part of it with all the, the center buildings and everything with the main pool is over here. I think there's the laundry facilities, there's an arcade. Also, something I haven't mentioned yet is the Siri bikes. So the rentals for that are going to be up here on the left. Ah, there it is. It's on the left right there. It's called Horsing Around Recreation Rentals. They have Siri bikes and they have just other types of single bikes that you can ride around the resort. And just to mention the transportation for you guys real quick, we saw by the Turf Club Bar and Grill, there was the water taxi that only goes to Disney Springs. And if you want to get to the parks, you have to take one of the buses that they offer for transportation. But that's going to bring our video to an end. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And if you made it to the end here, please find it in your heart to subscribe. At least give it a thumbs up. Till next time, guys.